Hello everyone, Marinich here from Formaloo. Today we're going to see how you can create a form and use it in your website or wherever you want. So let's get started. Open your Formaloo dashboard and here you'll see um, different uh, templates or by clicking on the templates you'll see the templates and you can choose from different categories. So for the sake of this tutorial, we'll create a form from scratch. So in your dashboard, click on the new blank form and here you'll see um, different types of forms you can create, single page form or multi-page form or a widget. We'll go through each one of them in different videos. For the sake of this video, let's go to single page form. So here in the single page form, you can add your image at the top of your form or your logo or your banner, whatever you need or nothing. Um, at the title of your form, you can add your title. Let's say it's my first form. Then you can add your description in the text area. This is what you see what you get uh, text area. So you can add your image and make your text uh, however you want, to, you want it to look. Uh, let's say description bold and make it bold. And uh, here is the place you can add your fields. So at the left pane of your web, uh, your um, page, you can see the different fields you can add to your form. Uh, let's choose the text field type and ask for the full name of your audience and make it required so they have to fill it before submitting the form. Uh, let's ask for their email and make it required because we need the full name and the email address of our audience. Ask for phone number and, and make it, uh, let's not make it required. We can add a number field like for age so we know how, you, how you're old they are. And let's add uh, like a multi-choice field and ask for your favorite, um, your favorite uh, like field type, something like this. And this, since this is a choice field, you should add options. Let's add um, text field, long text field. A single choice and um, multi choice or other. So here we have our fields and uh, we have our options of the field. Let's add another field like uh, like this like field. Do you like us? And uh, ask if they like us, we can hit like or dislike. And uh, if you want to edit a field, you can just click on it and uh, at this pane, at the left pane, you'll, you, you can change it. For example, age, something like this. And um, yeah, you can change the settings of each field by just by clicking on it and change it, changing it at the left pane. And you can switch between tabs here and uh yeah so these are our fields let's scroll down and on our fields page and uh, on our fields um section uh you can choose a submit button text so let's say you can add submit or send or subscribe or whatever you need and here is a text you can add to to be displayed after each audience subscribe or submits your form so uh, let's say um, thank you or thanks for uh, sending or uh, contributing. And uh, yeah, here is our form. Let's save it. There you see your uh, the link to your form. You can copy it or just hit the go to the form button. And here you'll see the form you have just created. And uh, on this uh, form, everyone, everyone who has the link to the form can fill this form. You can share it wherever you want. And uh, let's test it. So here 
you see um, this is uh, when I start typing uh, it has a validation and know that that this is not an email field so uh, you have to fill in the correct format of an email uh, these are not uh, required so I, so I won't fill them let's say these and I like it and submit so here is my customized text that I just added to my form and if you want to uh, make it white labeled and remove the logo of formaloo you can just do it it's simple and um, you can also uh, embed your form into your own website so let's see how uh, in uh, when you save the form here is a button uh, which says how can i use my form when again you click on it uh, you head to a page that shows how you can use your form in another website here is a embedded link this is how it looks if you use this code it's a link tag and it will be shown your form will be shown like a link which can be clicked on and they will head to your form in formal or you can use an iframe or a script tag in terms of um, how they look they don't look very much different but in terms of uh, the code, uh, they differ. It depends on your website, but there's not much difference. So you can choose and uh, copy either of them, uh, an iframe or a script. And this is how um, your form will look like when you paste this code in your own website. So in your own website, you can add a code block and paste this code into your code block. And for a widget, also, um, it would look like this. Uh, you will learn more about widgets in another separate video. So head to that video if you want to create a widget. So uh, let's get back to the share page. And um, this is the different types of embedding uh, options you can uh, choose from. Let's get to that dashboard. This is my form and um, if you want to see how uh, to embed it from the dashboard on the menu beside the form you can select view code and widgets and you get to the same page uh, to uh, copy the code. So in the dashboard uh, I'll choose, I'll, I'll select the uh, form and here's the results of submits. So uh, I see one person has submitted my form uh, and it has been uh, viewed three times. Here's the charts uh, regarding the form, the submits, and you can see different uh, insights through those charts. Here's the submits and uh, you'll see that one person has submitted the form and the details and see the details of that submit. You can edit the submit, print it or delete it. So, Let's get back to the form and um, to the summer page. Here you can edit your form and um, change it as uh, however you like. In the general settings of your form, you can uh, customize the address of your form. For example, new form. You remember you cannot add space in the URL, so uh, you have to type it uh, like this without a space and uh, you can ca add, add, the, add your form to a category or um, choose uh, when the form should be active from or to until and um, since when till when and um, you can choose uh, your form to be redirected to a new URL uh, after submitting for example um, I fill in the form and I head to the home page of your website uh, this is how it works. You can add a timer, for example, set uh, 10 minutes. So the audience has 10 minutes to fill in the form. And after the 10 minutes, they cannot fill in the form anymore. Uh, Max submits shows how many submits can be um, happening on your form. Uh, the default is infinite, so there's no need to change it. But if you have to limit the number of submits, you can do it here. Um, using this option, you can choose whether your 
form title, which is here, my first form, um, should be visible or not, I can turn it off and save it. Then uh, my form will be visible and my form title won't be visible anymore. Uh, as you can see here, you see the um, title is not visible compared to, oh, I don't have it here, but um, in the old version of the form, the title was visible. So uh, you can deactivate, it, deactivate your form here, uh, by default it's active. And you can change uh, the form type um, simply to multi-page or rigid. Let's um, continue with single page here in this tutorial. And uh, yeah, remember to save your changes after um, changing any of these settings. And in the app appearance uh, tab, you can change the appearance of your form. You can mm, choose from the um, templates, form templates, views, and or uh, choose from the colors here. For example, you can uh, copy and paste the hex code uh, and have your own branding in your own form. Or you can choose a background image here. And uh, yeah. So this is how the appearance tab works and in the notification tab you can choose um, whether to send submitted data to the submitter uh, which is self-explanatory and um, send me a notification for each submit. So uh, you can receive a notification, an email uh, whenever uh, someone submits your form. So here is our, how our forum works and remember whenever you need um, more help, here is a tutorial which helps you uh, to remember how each of these sections work. Yeah, um, this is how you can create a form and uh, use it in your website. I hope it was helpful and if you have any questions or comments, just comment it down below and bye for now.